Welcome back to the video, the basic rudiment part 2. In this video, I'm gonna talk about few basic things of music. Let's get started. When playing the piano, we need to read and play both hands notes simultaneously. Therefore, we need the grand staff. Grand staff is look like this, which has the both treble stave and the bass stave in one place which has been connected by straight two lines from the both sides and there is a brace from the left side and also there is an invisible line in between treble stave and the bass stave this is for the middle C note when we see the grand staff there are 11 lines 5 lines from the treble stave 5 lines from the bass stave plus the middle C line Altogether, there are 11 lines and there are 10 spaces, 4 spaces from the treble stave, 4 spaces from the bass stave plus there are 2 spaces in that area. Altogether, 10 spaces. As you learned in my previous video, there are 21 notes have been taken by the grand staff. Sometimes we have to play more than 21 notes. Therefore, we need to have ledger lines to indicate those notes. Ledger lines are the small short lines to accommodate extra notes. For example, I want to play this A note. I have to draw this A note in a ledger line. This is my first ledger line and here note A and this space become G. How if I want to draw a C note? I have to make another ledger line and this is for the C and, and between the first ledger line and the second ledger line there is a note it is B the notes are going according to the alphabet order the lower part of the piano if I want to play the E note I have to draw a ledger line to accommodate and there is a note, this is F. How about the C note? If I want to play C note, I have to make another ledger line for the C. And there is a note, which is D. When you make the ledger line, make it sure to have same distance of stave line spaces. Now I am going to teach you how do we draw the ledger lines when there is a single stave. Here I have drawn treble stave and the bass stave in two different places. Let's go to the treble cliff stave first. There is a middle C. This is always located below the treble stave. And here this is the middle C knot. I want to notate this A note, then I have to draw a ledger line here for the note A. This is actually fifth line of the bass clef. Even though there is no bass clef, this line belongs to the bass clef. And I want to draw the note F. Then I have to draw another ledger line for the F note, which is the fourth line of the bass clef. Now let's go to the bass clef stave. The middle C always located above the bass clef. 
Now here is the middle C and I want to indicate this D naught. Then I have to draw a ledger line for the node E. This is the first line of treble stay. And I want to draw the node G. I have to draw another ledger line for the node G. And this is the second line of treble stay. Though there is no treble stay, those lines belong to the treble stay. Now I am going to teach you about the bar lines. Bar lines are the upright lines drawn across the five lines of the stay. We use the bar line to divide the music notes into the certain amounts of beat in order to read easily. This is how bar lines are drawn. When drawing the bar lines, you have to keep same distance in between two lines. Now we are going to learn about bar, if not measure. What is the bar? The space between two bar lines is called bar. The space where we are going to write the music notes. This is bar 1. This is bar 2. This is bar 3. Now let me teach you about the double bar line. What is a double bar line? Double bar line is the two upright lines drawn end of the music piece which tell us now you have to stop playing the music. This is how double bar line is drawn. There are two lines. One is thin the other one is thick. This is musical stop. Now we are going to learn about music notes. Music notes are symbols which has different time values. In this video I am going to teach you about 5 common music notes. First one is semi brief. It has another name whole note, and this note has four beats value. And this is the semi brief rest, which is the colored rectangle hanging on the fourth line, but it does not touch the third line. This is semi brief rest, if not whole note rest. It has the same beat value of the semi brief. Semi brief is an active note, but the semi brief rest is not active. It's an inactive note. Second music note, mini, if not half note, it has two beats value. And this is the mini rest, which is on the third line, but it does not touch the fourth line. And it has the two beats value as well. Third music note is crotchet, quarter note, it's another name. It has one beat value. This is how the crotchet rest is written. This is quite difficult to write. In later of this video, I will explain you how to draw the rest bit by bit and easy way. This is the crotchet rest. It has the same beat value of the crotchet note, one beat. Next music note is quaver, if not eighth note, which has the half beat value. This is how the quaver is, is drawn. It's just like a number seven, but it starts from the third space, it goes up to first space. This is quaver rest, if not eighth note rest, which has the same beat value of quaver note. The last note is semi quaver, 16th note, which has the quarter beat value. And this is how the semi quaver is drawn. Starts from the 
third space. This is semi quiverest, if not 16 note rest, which has the same beat value of semi quaver note. Now I'm going to show you how to draw the music notes and the rest. First we'll take the semi brief. Semi brief can be written either space or line. When you write in a space, the both lines should be touch the note. When you write in a line, the note has to be middle of the line. Now we are going to learn the semi brief rest. It is hanging on the fourth line. It is a colored rectangle box. It should be like this. Right. Second music note is minimum. Minimum can be written either space or line. This is the meaning breast. It is on the third line. Rectangle colored box. Third music note is crotchet, which can be written either space or line. Space and the line. The crotchet breast, this is Quite complicated. It is written like this. This is crotchet rest. And the quaver note, it can be written either space or line. This is how the quaver note. Is written. Quaver rest. Start from the third space like this. And the semi quaver can be written either space or line. And this is the semi quaver rest. Start from the third space Hope it's clear Let's learn the part of the music note I have drawn a quaver note The bottom part is called note head And this line is called stem And this small part is called flag. A musical note has note head, a flag, stem. Sometimes musical note can be drawn different ways. Stem can be drawn downwards or stem can be drawn upwards. When the music note is written below the third line, the stem always has to be upwards. For example, this is a crotchet B. The stem should go up because the note head is below the third line. Another note. This is also upwards. When the music note is written above the third line, then the stem has to go
Thank you.